It's been a difficult week, but here I am on the gorgeous New Haven beach. Yes, that's right, I said New Haven. Come with me, I will show you exactly what I'm up to. It's Tuesday night and I really want to go out and shoot some landscapes. I'll be honest, I'm not really feeling this. I think I've got to learn perhaps to do a bit more research before I come out. In this light, I'm not going to get brilliant shots anyway. This is probably going to be another one of those that I put down as a scouting trip and come back another time. The only annoying thing is I've got these bloody sheep here, which are great foreground interest, but they're just not talking to me. <coughs> See? Nothing. Again, I've pulled up here and now I've sat down, I'm thinking, can I be bothered? It's Saturday night, it's a really nice day, the weather's fantastic, the sky looks amazing. I'm really tempted to go out and do some sunsets somewhere in Sussex, but I am very tired. If I go out now, I'll be going out having not done any planning whatsoever. So I think what I'm going to do is have my dinner, sit down, chill out for a bit, see how I feel. Um, if I can plan something in time, I'll go out. If not, I think what I'm going to do is plan for tomorrow because the weather's supposed to be good tomorrow as well. And hopefully I'll get some good shots because I've been out twice this week and I've not really been happy with what I've filmed so far. This week I've had a couple of bad days where I've not been able to get the shots that I wanted. Um, I went out a couple of times and my muse just wasn't there. So I've had a slightly disappointing week. I said last night I was tempted to go out, but I thought it'd be better if I spent my time planning instead. I've had a quick look on Google Satellite and decided that I'm going to go to the New Haven area. Now, I went there a couple of weeks ago and I got some amazing photos on the East Beach. Um, just from wandering around, I didn't know where I was going, I didn't know what I was going to get into. This time, I've had a quick look because I had a conversation with somebody who saw one of those photos and told me something very interesting about the other side of the beach, which, unsurprisingly, is called the West Beach. So tonight I'm going to go to New Haven West Beach. So I'm going to go there nice and early. I'm pretty sure there's going to be lots of shots and lots of opportunity. But I will see you there. So here I am at New Haven Seafront. Uh, I'm on the West Beach, I believe I said I was coming to. Uh, yeah. That way's east, this way's west. Yeah, I'm on the West Beach. Um, you can see, uh, probably in the background behind me, that this place is I find it fascinating because it's not just about getting fantastic normal rural or seaside landscapes. There's a real mix of industrial and urban stuff going on here alongside the sea and um, the cliffs and everything else around. So I think we're going to have a great little session. I've arrived at quarter to seven so I've got plenty of time um, to scout the area to find a few good locations and get in line for some shots later on. I'll obviously be looking for some nice sunsets a bit later but I think I'm gonna get quite a few good shots anyway because this th there's no cloud in the sky it's absolutely gorgeous and I think we can make the most of that. The other thing is I'm a lot more relaxed tonight and that's because I've cleared everything off my to-do list before I come down here. Now, I do very much consider this to be part of my job, uh, and so I don't in any way feel guilty when I'm doing these sorts of shoots. But it has to be said, there are other things that are more pressing on my to-do list, and those things, unfortunately, have to take priority. So some of that stuff is simply life stuff, cooking, cleaning, washing, all that sort of thing. And then other stuff is other stuff that I get paid for, whereas this is something which doesn't have an immediate return on investment. The upshot of this is that because I've cleared all that stuff off, because it's a lovely evening, because I'm now nice and relaxed, I really feel like my creative vibes are going to flow today. So let's see how we get on. I'm really excited. This is going to be good. Already I've taken a couple of snapshots. I've got the old um, telephoto lens out because uh, I really wanted to get these fishermen on the end of the pier. Fisher people. I'd really like a better position for that lighthouse as well though, so I'm going to carry on exploring. It's just gorgeous here and again, these are kind of pot shots for the time being and if I don't come to anything, I'm absolutely fine with that. I'm just enjoying being out here. <laughs> you can see it's absolutely gorgeous out here still. Um, 
I'm going for a, uh, a shot of this little marina bit here. I've got to be honest, I haven't got any ND filters, so I'm really being very ambitious trying to trying this at this time of day. I really want to smooth the water out a little bit because I think that would work quite well because the water here is so calm anyway. Um, but I've stuck a circular polarizer on and I managed to get it up to about two seconds. I'm going to stack that with an image that I've done at about 160th of a second to get the detail out of the marina. So I'm going to hope that works out okay. But as I said, first time here, so really it's a scouting trip. Also, trying this shot now might come back later if there's uh, if there's nothing else that catches my eye when it's a little bit darker. quite funny there's quite a lot of people in this area and um, I was taking some photos of the sea and the cliffs and the lighthouse and what have you and someone shouted at me oi mate there's some fish jumping over here and I thought oh okay so I sort of feigned an interest in these jumping fish uh, sort of feigned taking some photos I couldn't bloody see them anyway so where are they where are they and he pointed them out to me and I was like okay I just couldn't see them eventually realized he wasn't talking to me at all he was um he was shouting to the person fishing next to me. Right. You can see behind me that there is a gorgeous orange hue as the sun is beginning to set here. And you've got these absolutely fantastic cliffs, which just look absolutely amazing. They look like something out of, uh, I don't know. They, they take me away to somewhere else, let's put it that way. So I've spent a few minutes here trying to get this shot right. I'm now really torn because it's beautiful here and as it gets later it's getting quieter there's quite a lot of people around one thing i have learned today is that kids in new haven know a lot of swear words certainly more than i knew at their age but they're all starting to leave now so i wouldn't say i've got the beach to myself but i think as it gets, starts to get a little bit dark i'm going to get opportunities for for more far more interesting shots i mean just these cliffs look at them Look at, look at the potential for drama there. There's also a way up into the cliffs, which I'm gonna explore in a minute. Um, but for now, I just wanna get this shot. I've got a horrid feeling that I'm gonna to wanna to come back here several times because there's at least six or seven shots that I really wanna get as the sun's setting. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to get all of them when I want them. Uh, the sky is clear as well. It's just absolutely perfect. So yeah, let's see what happens. But so far, so good and that peace and quiet. Went and cursed it, didn't I? Of course, as soon as I mentioned how nice and quiet it was down here, a family and a few kids turned up. I mean, they're lovely, I'm not complaining. But um, yeah, it's kind of ruined the shot I was going for. But having said that, I am going to put together an HDR. I've taken three bracketed images, so I'm pretty sure I'll be able to Photoshop them out of it. Don't know if you can hear that, but there they go. But the other great thing about this place is, you know, it is still relatively peaceful. And because this area behind me that I'm gonna head up to in a minute is a nature reserve, you can just constantly hear noises of birds and I know that's not an unusual thing but with the peace of the sea and you can hear I, I, I don't know anything about birds I don't know what they are I mean there's certainly seagulls I can hear and I'm pretty sure there's some pigeons there but you're just walking along and you think there's no one around and then all of a sudden this noise comes and it's because they're living in these little nooks and crannies in the cliffs nested there they've got families there it's amazing It's so peaceful. It's almost meditative. It's gorgeous. I don't care if I don't get any photos. This has just been an absolutely lovely trip so far. I'm doing a great job of cursing this because the second I talked about peace and quiet, then I heard a noise and I thought there was a quad bike coming along the beach and I was about to curse this quad bike when I looked up and I realized that this is what was going on. 
I think I've managed to get a couple of photos, but I couldn't swear by it. I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled if they come back, but I did manage to grab my telephoto, and I think I've got a nice contrasty one of them with the, with the cliffs, but I don't know whether it's in focus because I had to be pretty rapid with a pretty shallow depth of field, but we can, we can hope. Um, also, it, in the time that happened, I've been trying to set up another shot as well, and now I've started to film this, um, a boat is now coming straight through the path that I wanted to take, uh, I wanted to take a picture of, so. What are you gonna do? Probably won't come as news to you by now that I'm a bit of an idiot. And uh, I'm now at the top of this hill. And I followed the path. In my defense, I followed the path this time. But it's just dried up. I mean, dried up, it's literally led to this wet bit, but I can't, I'm not willing <laughs> to attempt to climb that bit because it's too steep and there's no way up there. So I'm gonna have to try and get back down again and then come back up. I think my shorts are forever doomed. I know I say it all the time, but this is gorgeous and this is why I do it. And I don't ever want you to think that that's not the reason. <sighs> Regardless of the shots I get today, I just standing here and taking in the, the scenery and, and breathing in the sea air, this is why I live by the coast. I love it. I'm just gonna sit up here for a bit. Just look. Quick video before I head back to the car. Uh, I'm not sure this is going to work out but I'm going to try and do some long exposures here. This is the Rampian wind farm and um, I'm pretty sure that I understand the science. As I understand it what happens is they send some boats out to the wind farm uh, where they farm the wind and then the boats bring the wind back and it gets processed here. Um, so that's a little bit of science for you but yeah let's see how these shots work out. I'm back in the car, it's nearly half ten. Um, I have uh, refreshed my voice a little bit because um, as always I left my water bottle in the car. When I started doing this I knew that planning my landscapes was going to be the big thing that I need to improve to take my shots to the next level. What I've learned today is that um, it's been a great day and I've really enjoyed it and I think I've got some shots that I like but I've undoubtedly got some shots that I want to improve upon. So now I've covered these different parts. I was here from half past six till now half past ten and I've covered various areas at different times of day and I now know the areas that I want to come back to and at what times of day I want to come back. So they're the things I'm going to take from this going forward. I hope you've enjoyed coming with me today. Uh, it's been fantastic to get out again and I've had a couple of trips earlier this week where it didn't go quite as well. I'm going to put a couple of clips of those into the video as well because you know sometimes I'm just not feeling it and I think that's part of the journey but yeah thanks for coming with me uh, make sure you like leave me a comment if you enjoyed this leave me a comment if you haven't uh, of course make sure you subscribe and hopefully I will see you next week <laughs>